Hello. In this video, we'll learn how to automatically migrate applications, profiles, and data from one Windows server to another with no reinstalls. Zinstall WinServe supports Server 2003, 2008, 2012, and even 2016 preview. In this video, we'll transfer from Server 2008 R2 to a brand new Server 2012 R2. The server we want to migrate is a 2008 server running a CRM system powered by a mix of third-party and custom-made in-house applications with an Oracle database and a web server underneath. Here are the installed services, their configurations, and the processes that actually run this whole thing. And as it is often the case, no one really knows anymore how to actually reinstall all of this stuff from scratch. The only thing we have is the architectural diagram you see here. Luckily, Zinstall WinServe is a capable of migrating any application and environment. It is not based on vendor-specific plugins or anything like that, and we will shortly see how it migrates all the applications and data, including the custom-built ones. It even transfers kernel components without transferring hardware drivers, which could damage the new system. Now let's take a look at the Oracle developer here. Just to see some of the tables, some of the data in the system, have a clearer look. And we can actually log into the CRM server side console and see it in action. So to summarize, this is what we're transferring here. Off-the-shelf and third-party applications, including an Oracle database, a Java Tomcat server, and a custom-developed CRM system. This also includes the various interfaces and kernel components that are required for all of this to work together. And of course, the database and data itself. So let's start the migration. First, we'll run Z install on the server. We have a bunch of transfer scenarios we can use. Direct transfer, transfer through a container, in-place upgrade. This demo will use a direct transfer. And I'm making this as the source. And on this computer, I'm done. We'll now move on to the new one. This is our new 2012 R2 server. It's completely blank. And as you can see, nothing on the file system, nothing in the program files. No Oracle, no apps, nothing in services or processes. It's a completely blank vanilla 2012 R2 server. And what we will do is we will transfer all the applications from the old one to this one, and we'll see how this changes. So I'm running Z install here as well. Again, we're using the direct transfer scenario. This is our target. It detects what is available on the network in terms of migration sources. So I pick the one that we want. And we can continue with the transfer. Review the summary and press go. This takes some time depending on the amount of data you've got. In our case, it was about 32 minutes transferring 38 gigabyte of data and applications. Now you can already see things appearing as data and applications are being transferred and integrated into the server, but we'll fast forward to the end here to save time. And done. Now all that remains to me is to restart the server and review the results. So we're logging into our new 2012 server after the migration. Now, you can already see that all the icons we've had on the old server have already appeared here, which is a good sign. And we can also see that on the file system and program files, our custom applications, custom configs, custom databases are all here. We can see that the processes are running, the Oracle services have all appeared here, and they are running and configured as needed. This was a completely application agnostic transfer. It's not a plug-in for Oracle or custom developed for some specific application. It supports any application and any package, including custom stuff that you have and any server that you may have, 2003, 2008, 2012. 
Note that this is real, native transfer, not app virtualization. So the relationships and interfaces between different components remain functional as well. We can again run SQL Developer to see that it looks exactly the same as the old server, with our tables and the data inside those tables. And of course, after reviewing that, we can check out the actual CRM. As you can see, it is right here. Now, this kind of stuff you may see, it asks me for security permissions because it's a 2012 server now, and it's a bit different. But this is the level of tweaks we're looking at. And now we can log in, and we've got our CRM up and running with all the data. Now the old server can be discommissioned, the company DNS updated to point to the new server, and end users can start using it for their CRM access. With Z install, your server migration project becomes manageable, doable, on time, and on budget.